Ready to bang out some chest nets. Hello, sir. Scotty. He's the third owner of Max Muscle Venice. I'm the, I'm the most he's, he's the graveyard shift, so if you want to come by and get any product after 10 o'clock at night, Scotty's here. <laughs> so we're going to do a little chest. Old Jim Venice. <laughs> Don't trip over the sidewalk. Huh? Who's working? Is Kim working? Who? This girl? Uh... Changed a lot back to bodybuilding here since I started coming here. And I think the first time I came was 1993. So, see all the pictures on the wall. This is my picture, the Mr. Olympia picture up there. Alright, we're gonna start right here, but I gotta wait for Sean to show up. So we're going to start with some incline hammer presses. We'll start with some incline hammer presses and move over to a flat dumbbell press, some decline press. See how we feel from there. What? My name is Sean Lastly. I'm 26 years old. Uh, last year was my comeback after a five-year layoff. Took second at the Orange County in the, in the light heavies at a, at, a, at a 14 in my class. Uh, came back three weeks later as a middleweight, the, the first middleweight to ever win the Contra Costa as, a, as, as overall. I'm now training for Dallas for, for, the, for the Nationals. Um, the training by year now, I put on about 50 pounds in the last year. Um, my body fat right now is about 6%, so I want to come in this year as a, as a light heavyweight. And the opportunity to train with Jade and I has been wonderful and an experience of a lifetime. So thank you so much. Start pumping up the upper chest a little bit. I feel this works the whole chest, so focus on really squeezing, get all the joints warmed up. A little less chance of injury. Pull the hammer presses first. So not really counting reps. Just trying to warm up right now. What I try to do is tuck my chin so my chest hits my chin. What do you got? There's always so much energy in this gym. Just chose a little later to train tonight. Alright, come on, show me now. Just come on, come on.
Come on, come on. Come on, Alan. This is why we love it, Mitch. This is why we love it. It's just for this, man. Yeah. 
Eight. One more. Good. Again. Again. Press. Press. That's good.
much more. Uh, come on. Uh, come on, again. Uh, again. Come on, man. Again. Uh, good. Yep. Good. Yeah. Fuck. What do we got? Just three here, Sean? What? I'll show you the good. I'll show you. I'll show you the good. At the, the, the bar. That's it, Sean. I'll push now. Come on, squeeze. Good. Shoes off for this set though. for the lower pecs, but this actually builds your upper chest when done my style.
10. So, uh, we scored a little chest training here, you know, started with the incline hammer press. Did not really counting repetitions much, I think we fell around 12, but mainly focused on squeezing, you know, getting the blood filled up, you know, get everything warmed up. I had real, really deep tissue massage today, so I had, you know, some aches and pains. I started to feel a little bit twinge on this left pec, so I was kind of careful. Uh, you know how heavy I press. Obviously, I press five plates, but that's you know as heavy as the machine goes anyway. But I moved over to flat dumbbell press. Worked the way up to 170s. Um, I think we shot for around 12 repetitions. Everything's really about 12 now. Uh, training for the competition, as like every other year. Um, just going in for blood volume. I kind of go by feel. You know, in the beginning when I first came in here to train, uh, I was focused on just doing um, an incline movement, a flat. Uh, bench press and then a decline press so we throw in some incline flies in there after the uh, the flat benches to stretch you know a little bit of pecs upper pecs uh, and then we moved over to uh, to dips body weight dips of course uh, banging out you know we we shot for repetitions there we did um, upwards of 20 reps so really get the blood in there and then we finish with decline so my main priority in 2007 uh, off-season training has been to focus on trying to build more upper chest, more fuller chest, so I seem to focus on a lot of flat dumbbell bench presses, a lot of decline presses which seem to actually build my chest. Uh, definitely improvement there um, for this year's Olympia as it was last year and uh, you know just of course that fuller chest is going to bring the illusion of a more tapered waistline and of course building the quads which we're working on now uh, which you'll see improvement on. Um, it's going to be key to, to bring up the best package at the Olympia and hopefully taking home another title. So nothing crazy, nothing too, too drastically different from the years past. You know, here we are training at the Mecca bodybuilding. As you can see, it's uh, it's a uh, quarter of 11 at night. You still got quite a big crowd in here. A lot of uh, a lot of guys that you know have been training here for a long time. And, you know, they got the best weights in the world here, so I think uh, it's beneficial uh, to come out here and train. I've been training here on and off all year since, you know, purchasing the Max Muscle Store uh, with Dave Borlett and Scott Nolte over there. And, and uh, able to come train among the best and, you know, show my face a little more, I think, which is good for publicity and bodybuilding, and uh, we roll with it. So we, uh, we added, you know, um, Sean over here to... Uh, Come train with me tonight because this is what time he usually trains at. So I figured I'll, I'll uh, you know, give him a little push. He's getting ready for the nationals in the end of 2007. So um, you know, kind of just trying to push along um, the next generation since he's a young kid uh, to the next level. And uh, hopefully we'll see him break through. He won the the, uh, the Contra Costa show in 2006, qualified there, and now basically uh, he's on his way to the national level. So. We'll introduce him and uh, let him say a few words about what he plans to do and uh, be on the lookout for him. So, the way we are, you know, just eat up a little bit tonight and uh, kind of rest and hit shoulders tomorrow and then head back to Vegas after my guest appearances are done. So. What else do I have to say? Got a little calf training in there. Have to build the calves since. We all know Jay Cutler has calves. It's a secret to building calves. Just standing seated, 12 repetitions, 13 repetitions. That's how you build them. You know, once every five days. That's the way we do it. So, pretty awesome to come to this gym and 
finally see my picture above the best in this room. Why is it that I dwarf everyone else up there? Well, what's happening uh, now, you know, my weight's about 295 now. We're about 15 and a half weeks from the Mr. Olympia. So my body weight's going up. I come up from about 290, gaining this five pounds in the last, uh, you know, 10 days. So um, you got to be careful because my back is super tight. A lot of the tightness comes from my hamstring. So... I gotta keep stretching my hamstrings quite a bit. Uh, keep stretching my lower back because of disc compression. You know, when you're throwing around a lot of weights, you're pulling a lot of weights, you're having a lot of weights on your back. You have to be careful. So I gotta keep keep stretching. It's really, really important. And of course, you know, I'm still doing the Pilates and stuff. So just trying to have the advantage. I'm gonna have. Uh, Know, not only the best body, but the health, healthiest body. And, uh, you know, of course, stretching the fascia is going to improve size. No, you know, I'm just stretching the hamstrings just because the body weight. I had, you know, yeah, the body weight, and I had the therapy today, and just trying to keep everything loose. You know, I'm sleeping in hotel beds this weekend, so my back gets a little stiff when I'm not sleeping in my own bed, so gonna keep everything in check you know you can't take any risks when you're Mr. Olympia you gotta do everything at its fullest so I'm not gonna take any chances you know everyone thinks that you know, because I've been so busy this year and I've had new responsibility being the champ that I'm slacking or not as focused but it's far from the truth I'm even more focused I'm gonna put even more effort in this competition. And I'll come out on top with number two. So, mark my words.